Hey, my name is Bruno Motutu and this is one of my videos for ALP2. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to be covering SLO20, which wants us to convert coordinates from and equations from rectangular form to polar form and vice versa. Let's get started. Converting from polar coordinates or equations to rectangular or rectangular to polar. To convert from either forms, we use trigonometric relationship that exists between the variables x, y, r, and theta. Like we know from the notes that cos theta is equal to x over r, and this gives an r cos theta is equal to x and r sine theta from this is equals to y and theta is equals to 10 inverse of y on x from now from the pythagorean theorem and the trigonometric relationships we could derive a couple of equations like we already derived cosine of theta being equals to x over r which is the adjacent on hypotenuse and sine theta being equals to y on r and we remember from pythagorean's theorem that x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared so x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared is going to be one of the equations that help us to convert from polar to rectangular and vice versa. Convert the following to rectangular coordinates. Now from uh, our knowledge we know the polar coordinates are written in the form r theta. Now we know x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta. Now we're going to use this information to convert the polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Let's start with a root 3 and pi. x is going to be equal to root 3 cos theta or let me just write it cos pi which is going to be equal to negative root 3 because cos pi is negative 1, when you multiply that with root 3, it gives you negative root 3. y is equal to root 3 sine pi. Sine pi is equal to is 0, so 0 times root 3 is going to be 0. So our coordinates is negative root 3, 0. The next example is 3 and 3 on 2 and 3 pi on 2. So it's still in the form r theta because it's a polar coordinate and to convert it to a Cartesian coordinate x is equals to r cos theta which is 3 on 2 cos 3 pi on 2 now cos 3 pi on 2 is 0 so it's 3 pi on 2 3 on 2 0 which is 0 y is equals to r sine theta so 3 on 2 sine 3 pi on 2. Now 3 pi sine 3 pi on 2 is negative 1 from our unit circle. We should know that. So our answer for y is negative 3 on 2. The coordinates are 0 and 3 on 2. Negative 3 on 2. I'm sorry. Convert the following to polar coordinates. A, 1, root 3. Now we know that these Cartesian coordinates are in the form of x, y, and we want to convert it to r theta. Now from our equations, we know r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we know theta is equal to um, tangent of y on x. So now let's look for r. 
in a it will be equal to 1 squared plus root 3 squared which is going to give us 1 plus 3 which is root 4 which is 2 so r equals to 2 and theta is going to be equal to 10 inverse it's equal to tangent inverse of y on x sorry i didn't precise later uh, before theta is equal to the arc 10 or 10 inverse of y on x so 10 inverse of root 3 on 1 which gives us pi on 3 we're, we're dealing radians so the polar coordinate is the polar coordinate r theta is 2 pi on 3 now for my equations we know r is equals to the square root of x squared plus y squared so our r is going to be equals to 12 squared plus negative 12 squared which gives us 12 root 2 and our theta is 10 inverse of y on x which is 10 inverse of negative 12 on 12 which is 10 inverse of 1 of negative 1 I'm sorry and this is equal to 7 pi on 4 and our coordinate is 12 root 2 7 pi on 4 convert the Cartesian equation to a polar equation we're, uh, we're going to start with a so y squared my equals to 9 minus x squared now from our main equations we know that y is equals to r sine theta so y squared is going to be r sine theta all squared equals to 9 minus x is equals to r cos cos theta because minus cos theta squared so r squared sine squared theta equals to 9 minus r squared cos squared theta so r squared when we subtract cos squared on both sides minus cos uh, added I'm sorry when you add cos squared theta on both sides plus cos squared theta we're going to have r squared sine squared theta plus r squared cos squared theta equals to 9 and this is the same as r squared it's 1 from the identity sine squared plus cos squared theta is equals to 9 and r r is equals to root 9 plus or minus so r is equals to positive 3 r is equals to negative 3 the second example is y is equals to negative 7 now we know that y is this equals to r sine theta and it wants to convert the Cartesian equation into a polar one so it's going to be r sine theta is equals to negative 7 so we have to isolate the r so we divide both sides by sine theta and it cancels here so r is equals to negative 7 sine theta or if you prefer it could be negative 7 let me wipe that negative 7 cos secant theta 